AC is still out. And as you can see, Joy in the background, she's feeling the heat. So she's she, melting. Yeah, so it's pretty hot in here. But we're we're about to find out how we can save Beta. Aloy failed in her promise to kill her. But honestly, I don't blame her. I don't think I could have yeah. done it either. It's like they finally bonded. It's like I can't, yeah. I can't just kill you. Yeah, and it's like my brother died. Now I have to shoot my sister. I can't. Like I, you know, it's. I don't think Varro is, is a brother, he's more of a best friend. Well, kind of yeah, ones. I mean, yeah. but you know, when you get that close, close, close bond, you know? And yeah. he was, to me, he was almost like a big brother since they didn't end up with the romance relationship. Yeah. Because he was looking out for her and trying to, like, you know, maybe you're a little bit too rough <laughs> on Beta. Maybe you should make some friends. You're kind of being a bitch. Your friend will be like, no, no, you were right. Your best friend will be like, no, no, you fucked up. You fucked that straight up. What are we doing? We are saving Beta. Oh, oh yeah. With a stranger who was our enemy, but she saved our lives, so she's now not our enemy. She's not not our enemy either, though. Like, she could be kind of like straddling the line. I'm not sure. Like, I don't trust this lady. <laughs> What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look, if you like. I'm curious to hear your impressions. Oh. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art. Or the insight we might gain. We should totally examine the art. I find it interesting that they are on black walls, and I wonder if this is the room that Beta was in that she was describing, remember? Yeah, I wonder. My favorite pairing on the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. And on the right is a forgery, Woman Reading Music which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Huh. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh, no. I made my real fortune later. Selene and Endymion. She's the goddess of the moon. Whereas he's a simple shepherd. Beside her is the god of love, Cupid. Oh, there's a guy down there. So she's sneaking up on him? More like visiting him in secret. The torch she that Cupid stalker. bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. Hmm, okay. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. Okay. Aloy's not really giving her impression of the art as much as just being like, okay, Tilda, tell me what you're trying to tell me here. Yep. A portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son, Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of a boy in a hood? Yeah. It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. <laughs> and the like background it. seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. <laughs> I guess. Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous painting my homeland ever produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. Yeah. In my day. 
but not as influential as you've been in this new world. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I know this one. The Gust. By Willem van der Velde. The most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so now we're done with the art tour. Where's breakfast? I'm hungry. What's this? Stunning, isn't it? What is it? Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is Von Vianen's lidded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. <laughs> Function over form. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial. Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. Okay. Huh. Okay. Statue? It's another one on the other side, too. Huh. Statue? That one looked like Atlas so over there. Soon. I've got more important things to worry about. <laughs> we both do. There is much we are trying to save. Not the least of which is in that vault. Hmm. What's in there? There's nothing wrong with savoring such treasures for a moment more. Yeah. I'll come upstairs and we'll get down to business. Yeah, except that I... Your choice. Like you said, she just lost, like, beta and ball. Yeah. Like, it's, this is not the time. But I guess we'll entertain her. Get a sense for this lady's, like... If there's something we can use to come out on top in this interaction. There you are. Feeling better? No. How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Yeah. Well, suffice it to say, we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit. Damn, she like set it up nicely and everything. This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done? You think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them. And lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. What is that? Uh, focus. Oh, focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen... Incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy. But I had to, in order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. 
with her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. I still don't trust you. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I'm gonna eat anything until I see you eat it first. I mean, she's kept her alive this, to this point. She could've just let her die. Eh, yeah. you got a point. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. <clears throat> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. <laughs> In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Don't tell me, Silence. silence. <laughs> oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Oh, so he has an army yeah. now. Yeah, we're Regala. Oh, Regala. Yep. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything, except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence and my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Um, I mean, sounds easy is probably not, yeah. but now we have another problem, which the problem has always been there. I just forgot about it because we've been yeah. focusing on the Zenith, Zenith but uh, Regala and her army are a problem. Yeah. I forgot about them. And see, the problem, though, with this plan of letting Silence just, you know, use Regal or whatever, is that first they're going to attack the Grove, which means that Hikaru and, you know, our buddies there are all going to get murderized. Mm -hmm. And we don't really want that to happen. So I don't see just letting Silence and Regala destroy the Grove as an option either. Like, that sucks. Yeah. Let's start with that. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. <laughs> you hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of Prometheus. The ones working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. Hmm. With it and the Tanakh army, 
Victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Hmm. Okay. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. Yeah. <laughs> you keep skipping over that part where a lot of people are gonna die. Oh, by the way, this is just sparkling water in case you thought it was something more interesting. Yeah, no, it's just sparkling water. Cheers. <laughs> we could pretend it's something else. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what's the Zenith's plan? Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Hmm. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. Yeah, Gerard is an asshole. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But like, we will stop him. Seriously? Like, come on. All we have to do yeah. is get into that base. I feel like there's enough... Um... You know, like, there's enough space for everyone where they could have just maybe, you know, built, like, a city and just keep there, you know, something, some place that was just empty, clean it out and do whatever, but to just wipe out the world? Like, yeah. Who do you think he is? <laughs> Pretty much every conquering nation ever. Like, you have strangers that go to a foreign land, and they're like, we're gonna kill everyone here and take the land for ourselves. Like, like all of human history has done that, but it is messed up, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. this is on a much grander scale, because instead of it just being, like, you know, a few tribes or, a, you know, a huge yeah, stretch of no, land, like the whole it's the world. entire planet yep. that we're talking about. It's crazy. It's because, too, in all of these, like, sci-fi things where they talk about aliens coming to the planet, it's to destroy the planet for their own purposes, but now it's almost turned on its head where the humans are destroying planets for their own purposes. Ah. Oh. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation, a passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Hmm. Okay, where exactly do you think Beta is? Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here, in the command center. 
By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. Okay. You said Beta is not in urgent danger, so what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be, but her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the Data Channel, a virtual place where we could speak in peace. Hmm. But then she stopped. I want to know why she stopped. Yeah. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yeah. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. Well, she felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. She sounds a lot like silence. <laughs> like, you know, it's all for the greater good. It's fine. I did what I could. But then I had to not because it wasn't safe, and you know, it's just, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Hmm. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. <sighs> so what exactly did you see on my focus? Did you read my diary? <laughs> my old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, Bravo, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. Oh, okay. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of no. course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So yeah. I should be grateful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you like. <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna tell you what you should and shouldn't feel, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, at this point, <laughs> what choice do you have? Like, Aloy doesn't have a lot of options at this point. Everything went to shit. And she now has to save Beta. 
so I don't think she has much of an option. I don't trust her, but you know, because she might have selfish reasons for all this. Yeah, just like she silence, might. where silence would help Aloy, but it was always for selfish reasons. She might be the same. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, she has a convincing story, but at the same time, we just met her. Yeah. So you know all about me. What about you? What would you like to know? Well, start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? <laughs> okay. You were an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. Mm. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. She was a spy. Hmm. You were a spy? <laughs> more like a service one could turn to for information. <laughs> I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. I'm sure they did. One where we need not fear illness or death, where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that- It was all bullshit. They only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were. Certainly, it, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. Hmm. Hmm. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? <laughs> to not Help. fuck it up? <laughs> to fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Far Zenith's original vision. A better future for humanity. Okay, so you keep calling Elizabeth Liz. How did you two know each other? Mm -hmm. Like, there seems to be some history here. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you, and more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about Elizabeth. She's like, I've met me, I know me. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. 
For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. Huh. Okay, how did you meet? So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning, a touchy subject in those days, because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation, but in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step, an AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. <laughs> it's like Aloy, like she doesn't like yeah. the attention and people like worshiping her and stuff like that. So I guess that's why like it made Elizabeth uh, uncomfortable too. Yeah. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. That's a good start. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't. <laughs> but she was very welcoming almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. Hmm, interesting. I guess I know the feeling. Okay. I would like to know more about their relationship. Yeah? Like, how well did they know each other? Were they really good friends? I mean, I guess she feels like she didn't know Elizabeth as well as Elizabeth knew her, but like, you know, were they just passing colleagues, you know, ships in the night, or what, 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 what? Because she seems almost obsessed with Elizabeth, but maybe she was just fangirling the whole time. Like, I don't know, yeah. but I want to know, you know? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, there's got to be another way. Like, I don't, like, the, the whole Tanakh thing, like, I don't want Hikaru and all of his dudes to die. Yeah, this seems a little brutal to let that happen. Yeah, there's got to be another way. First Varl. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Mm, Remember sure? Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice, sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait, the data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, 
open it. <laughs> She's like, let's be very clear, I'm in charge. <laughs> yep. If we're gonna play, we play it my way. Well, this is weird. Can we do our house this way? No. No, no iridescent triangles that slowly change colors? What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise, okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll contact again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. Aww. Oh, she left your ass out of the loop. Yep. <laughs> you are not invited. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. Mm, I don't need I'm to do shit. I'm going to take Silence army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Oh, no. Yeah, no. Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That? Is between me and my sister. Oh, she killed oh, my yeah. sister. <laughs> we'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? None of your damn business. Rest. Oh yeah, that. I'm yeah. going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Rakala's rebellion. From the air. From the air. What? Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. Huh. Okay. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. <laughs> yeah, not if, when. When. Yeah, she was like, nope, we're, we're gonna do this my and, way. Are you there? Aloy. Aloy, is that really you? Oh, thank God he's yeah, alive. It's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all, uh, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Oh! Um, oh, that's pretty. Wait, 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 wait. Let me enjoy the view. That's actually very pretty. That's a really pretty view that. from here. Aww. Except for the hippos pooping in the water. <laughs> It's very pretty. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Dude, she was rich, rich. Like, this was the view from her balcony. This ri this was a rich, rich woman. 
This is so nice. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Oh, shut up! Right. I take it the other Zeniths can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. We just came back from having dinner and ice cream because our AC is still down. Still down! And it's just really huh? hot in here. So we went out for ice cream. We thought it was a, it was a good idea. Hagen dazs Yes, we had Hagen dazs That's my favorite brand of ice cream. Especially dulce de leche. I love that flavor. I had the, uh, the peanut butter with chocolate pretzels. <laughs> That's how it tastes. <laughs> Damn. Oh god, Zo. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey. Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Yeah! Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well, yeah. At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? Kill We're going them to all. defeat the Zeniths and get Beta and Gaia back. But first, we're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Hikaru. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. Yeah! We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Are we gonna have a funeral? We should. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Aww. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? A lot we of them. Are. Yeah. Good. We're gonna do a lot of smushing. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. And anybody else that wants to talk real quick. Does anybody else need a hug? Oh, they have like little hammocks of supplies and shit in here. I think she's huh. up there. Huh, is this like your hangout place? It's pretty nice up this here. This is pretty cool, yeah. Damn. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Over here, Aloy. Hey. We would come out here, to tend to the garden.
Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the sea rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Eloy. Oh. <gasps> I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Oh. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... for not giving up on me. He always knew. He knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. Okay, she's not allowed in the, the final I'll fight. Try to visit again when I can. Oh, we can sit with him? Can she For talk now, to him more? I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Okay, nothing more to say? I guess not now. Oh. Oh, that was a lot. That Are you okay? <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, I'm glad there's gonna be a baby Varl, but somehow it's also worse. Like, yeah, he had this beautiful future that was starting and, and now he's gone and. Well, I mean, this is kind of the risk you take when you go into yeah, war and defend the world and all that. But it sucks. I really like Varl. Oh, yeah. So like, he was one of the good ones, you know? I'd say he was one of my favorite characters. I am glad that she had a little moment to say goodbye. Yeah. Like, she needed that. Right. Oh, did you just run your head into that? Maybe. <laughs> I'm still, like, not okay, okay? I'm just... just Running I'm, into shit and... I'm just... I'm really sad. Really uh, sad right now. Before I forget, I watered those plants for you. Oh? I just know they meant a lot to you, and, uh... I... well... Thank you, Aaron. Aww. 
He's a softy deep down. I can tell. I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakhs. Just I checking on you check first. Yeah. You first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. Do you think so will be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. No. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? <laughs> well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. <laughs> I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. Yeah, it's not over yet. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. <laughs> he might do that. Well, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't think at this point, I think Aloy won't disappear like she did last time. I think she she built such a strong yeah. like bond that I don't think she'll uh, disappear again. Hey. Aloy, do you have a moment? Sure. I look busy. My studies are a good distraction, especially after Cauldron Gemini. Varl, Beta, Gaia, gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Oh, and I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Oh, thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. Okay. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Arend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? Probably not. I don't know. I try not to think about it. Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Catalo more than most. <laughs> yeah, if he I already left. Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. If my plan works. Anything new around here? Catalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. <laughs> Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But oh, yeah. knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes. Their own. Replacing yeah. body parts as they grow older. Like the Zenith. Exactly. Yeah, so just don't tell him about it. It'll be <laughs> yeah. a little secret, okay? So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted. Not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless and deadly yeah tilda the zenith that beta mentioned she was the one who rescued me did she say why she knew elizabeth sobek 
seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Of course not! <laughs> Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. Uh, yeah. Be yeah. careful if I were you, yeah. Aloy. Yeah, we're on the same page. Okay. Uh, check with the data on the Leviathan. I'm curious what she found. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the ancestors. The overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. Nope. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. Yep. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. Yep. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. Yeah. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. You're welcome. I, I kind of like the whole Quen arc just because we deal with that a lot I today. Get going. Like ready to go on people my signal, okay? corrupting the truth. I won't let you down. Yeah. I know. And really, the truth is messy. Like, there's a little bit of truth and a little bit of lie in a lot that we're being told right now. So it's like, how do you figure out what's real? And it's just messy. Think you can manage things here while I go help Akaro? Stopping Regala's war. It'll help us take the fight to the Zeniths? Yep. Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Aaron and Catalo have fought them before, so... I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Aaron moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. <laughs> yep. How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Good. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. Once in a while. Hm. I know we both want to make the Zeniths pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood-crazed Tanakh. <laughs> Wherever your arrow strikes, mine will follow. Aww. Let's hope we hit our targets. All right, okay. let's head on I need out. to get going. Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we need to talk to Gaia? Gaia's not here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fabrication terminal. We need the bird. Okay. Um, how the hell are we gonna override a bird? They're okay. pretty easy to sneak up on, actually. Okay. I've killed a couple of them. Okay. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Oh, and talk to all of your shit also. Uh, Aloy, get off your desk. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Oh, that was Rost now, that she was quoting. And always. Yep, so that's why she changed the plan. Yeah. All this time I've been so focused on what Elizabeth was like, what she would do. I was wrong to hold Beta to that standard. Probably shouldn't even be doing it to myself. I'll try to do better. She just realized that she's been like 
taking herself to, like, being too mean to herself. Yep. Oh my god, she so figured Simon's it out. Simon's plan was to trick Regala into sacrificing her tribe in a hopeless battle against the Zenus. It's so... heartless. Hikaru, Dekka, Catalo, countless others. I won't let their lives be thrown away. Like, she cares a lot. Yeah. And she suffers for these people. Focus. It's Worlds. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. But Varl did. Even when he was overwhelmed, he refused to let me push him away. He was a good friend. <laughs> yep. All right, restock. And let's go find a bird. <laughs> 